in the show yet. <laughs> It is I, Pinna Palmer, back from the dead. If you are new here to my channel, hi, I am Pinna Palmer, and I like to keep everything pink and spooky. <coughs> you are all probably wondering. Where were you? You see, every time I try to start my YouTube channel up again, something comes in from the West and it blows on in. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I have had some pretty life-changing events ever since, I would say, October it's been going on. I am currently still in it, and I don't know what is gonna happen, but I'm just gonna say this. What is currently happening in my life is a dream come true, or an opportunity of a dream come true. And I don't know if you guys know me personally, but as you know, I like everything Halloween. I try to uh, bring monster stuff to my channel, stuff that has never really been seen before, like puppets or bats or like voices. <laughs> exactly, Ted voices in my closet of like this little TV show I've created online for you guys, all because I have literally been influenced by Pee Wee's Playhouse or Elvira or the old horror hosts that used to happen back in the day. Boy, talk about scraping the bottom of the barrel. I've been trying to trickle that into my YouTube videos. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but if you've been with me for a long time, you've, you will start to notice little stuff in my closet of horror, is what I call it. Yes, we know or it's just been raining constantly in California, out of all places. What are we, turn into Oregon? It's been so downpouring rain everywhere that it's unbearable. Like you cannot go outside, you cannot film anything outside. So all my like videos that go like outside of my closet for once, videos of me like coming out of the closet and- What did he say? Oh. Well, not like that, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Doing stuff outside of here, I can't do. I haven't been able to do because it's been dumping rain. But I have some downtime. So I thought I would finally film this video that was supposed to be filmed in February. If you already guessed it, this is, of course, Lucille Ball. And here is her iconic makeup and look, mostly taken from I Love Lucy, the show from the 1950s. And, and I'm going to show you how to do that today with not the most expensive makeup. It's not the most accurate makeup of hers. You can tell. So you want to learn how to do this makeup, maybe for Halloween or something, or a convention, or just for fun, or just to watch me attempt this? Then stay tuned, because I'm going to show you. Oh, what a terrible thing to do. So like I said, some of the makeup is taken from Lucio Ball herself, or like impersonators that I know, or just kind of like my own twist on it. Um, when it comes to like impersonators, like my good friend Amber down here, I work with her for many years. Uh, she's a great Lucy. Also, Diane Vincent is another great Lucy that I've gotten to know for many, many years. And fun fact about Diane, uh, Diane's father is Sinister Seymour. And if you guys don't know that, especially in the spooky world, where have you been? Look under a rock. <laughs> Seymour was a horror host back in the 1970s to the point where if you saw like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Quentin Tarantino, uh, his poster is up on the thing and video footage that they show of it is Seymour. So that is her dad. So I have been working with a horror host's daughter for many, many years and she decided just to tell me that this year for the first time. And she's kept that a secret for about, oh, 13 years since I've been there. So together shall we first we have ah the incomparable neanderthal man the story of a man called neanderthal after his death then there was a big boom of searching for the next kind of horror host therefore paved the way for elvira really fun fact about how lucy and horror hosts combined and boy am i doing that today huh in my closet of horror and i'm giving you a little bit of Lucy Ricardo. Shut up. Stay tuned. Let's go get some makeup on. Sorry, guys, if I'm about to scare you in this next video. So foundation is on. Oh, my eyes! My eyes! It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but don't worry. Lucille Ball's complexion was relatively fair. I'll put a picture here and you can see like her blush is a little bit more on the orangey side or corally side. I want something pink kind of showing through and I've been doing this a lot lately with P. Louise, but I'm going to use this liquid foundation from P. Louise in the color pink or legally pink. I object. And it has like an application like that. You get to squeeze it. And this is gonna look crazy, but I just want this just to kind of have like a pinky flush undertone underneath all of this. And then I'll go in with like the oranges and more like the yellowy, orangey, coral. That's a lot of words. I'm gonna put this all up in here and 
it's going to look crazy. I'm doing this first before concealer. I know. What am I doing? Have I lost it? Yes, I have, apparently. You're going to just take a sponge, a damp one, and we're just going to kind of diffuse that color. Yes, so take your wet, damp sponge and go ahead and blend it out and melt it into your skin. I just kind of wanted a pinky hue underneath my skin tone after I put the orangey blush on. And at the end of it, it should look something like this. That's what I'm kind of going for. Then we're gonna go in with some concealer. The concealer I'm using today is Revolution Conceal and Define, and we're gonna lighten up my skin here a bit to pale myself out and also to hide these under eye circles going on there. We're just gonna put it underneath our eyes, kind of down the nose. I like paint like a cat up here, up on the lip, like a mustache. <laughs> Every time I do this, I. I have to question myself when men ask if you're a natural beauty. Kill it! Take that same beauty sponge that you used for the blush earlier and use it for your concealer to blend it all out on your face. Try to keep your concealer in the spaces that you first laid it down on your face and not spread it too far out. We just want to keep the highlighted of the face more in the center. Whammo! We just brightened my entire complexion with that. So I'm just going to contour my nose just a little bit just to kind of slim the bulbous part here. This part is completely optional, just depends on what kind of nose you have. I'm just trying to slim mine out. And if you guys want to see a nose contour tutorial, I could definitely do that for you. But today we're just trying to make my nose a little bit thinner. It's really not the focus of this look. Go ahead and take any translucent or light powder that you have and lightly dust it on your face just to get rid of any unwanted shine. For my powder, I was using Fenty Beauty in the shade Vanilla, and it also smells like vanilla too. I think we should start with one of the most interesting parts of Lucy's makeup, which is honestly those eyebrows that she wore. Let's bring up another picture here. You can see her eyebrows are very far apart and really round. This is really a test of the times. Lucy's makeup was glamour housewife makeup, but amplified to almost look like or emulate a clown. And this is why we have the fiery red hair. This is why we have the really over-exaggerated lips, the over-exaggerated eyes to give her face so much expression every time when she did something funny. On the floor? No, let me have it. Okay. <laughs> So that's kind of what we're gonna try and do here today. As you can see, my eyebrows are thin. I don't have the rest of them because I play multiple characters at a theme park and I change my eyebrow shapes all the time. So I look like a very angry Spock and that's okay. So we're gonna go with the Joa, you know, pencil, this eyebrow pencil, I love it so much because it's just so tiny, tippy, tippy, tiny. We're gonna start sketching this, these crazy, crazy, crazy brows in. For the eyebrows that I am sketching out, I am not really pulling them close in towards my nose. I'm keeping them pretty far out. Uh, keep in mind that this is a very round, almost like 1930s brow. So the highest point should be in the center or right above your pupil in the center of your eye. It shouldn't have an arch after the eye. It should be in the center of it. Okay. Lucy, where did your eyebrow go? Stop it, stop talking like that gonna do the other side. So after the eyebrows are done, let's move on to eyes. And today I'm gonna be using Huda Beauty's Nude. I'm gonna be taking the color Bear. I'm gonna go all over my eyelid with it just to kind of start it off. Done. Okay. So once that is done, I noticed in a lot of, let's bring up another picture of Lucy. It's kind of hard to tell because she was in black and white a lot. I do see though, she's always depicted in kind of like a orangey hue kind of color. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm going to go into this color Ben Nye. It's called Black Plum. We're going to open that up and we're just going to put that in the crease of the eye. So this is definitely trust the process. Here is the kind of base for the eye that I am doing. Um, I'm going to take the California Love. <laughs> So in the California Love palette, I am taking the color Laguna, which is a very rusty kind of orange color. And I'm just putting that in my crease. So the shape of the eyeshadow that you should be keeping in mind is the same shape as your eyebrow above. So really rounded, the highest point being in the center of your eye. Once you are done with that, go back into your Bare color, which is a very nice vanilla-y color. Vanilla. Napolitan, for example. And go ahead and kind of cut out that crease a little bit on the top of your eyelid. Let's take some white eyeliner and put it in your waterline. Ah! 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 
Ah, so we opened up our eyes just a little bit. We're gonna go on with top eyeliner. We are using Daphne Beauty. Very vintage looking, Daphne likes that. Little bit of something new, little bit of something old, you know. Yes, Daphne, the same Daphne that I've been using on this channel for a while. Um, she's a very self-owned makeup brand and she just came out with a liquid eyeliner. Look at that. I have used this product before. It's a great product, it's really black if you're really looking for that. But I will say like, if you have like hooded eyes or anything like that, be careful with this because it takes a little bit longer to dry. So don't blank, okay? Whatever you do, just, don't, don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. Because it's very pigmented. So with the eyeliner, we're going to focus more heavy on the center. We're not really going to do a wing. I know, shocking for me, but we're not. She doesn't have a wing. I lied. I lied to all of you. Liar! I still did a wing. Eyeliner is done on this side. I'm gonna do it to this eye now, okay? Bye. Bamboo. Eyeliner is done. All by Daphne Beauty. I mean, look at all the Daphne Beauty products that we have now, okay? There's there's just so much. Pepsi break. Mmm. It's Britney Spears' choice. Okay. I really do like Pepsi. Really? What's your I favorite really kind? Do. My favorite kind of Pepsi, Pepsi's Pepsi. For the bottom of my eye, I am going into the color Mission from the California Love Palette and just lining it close to my waterline. Let's move on to cheeks. Remember we were gonna add a little bit more orange to the cheeks? Remember that? Remember? Because I almost forgot. <laughs> we're just gonna add a little bit more orange to the cheeks and we're gonna use that same color that's on our lid from California Love. I am going into the same color as my eyeshadow for my blush and I'm keeping all the orange more closer towards the temples of my cheeks. I'm not bringing it as far in closer to my nose. I'm leaving that still kind of the more pinky area. So let's move on, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna put on some mascara. <sighs> and we're also gonna go in with Daphne. Mascara wand from Daphne Beauty. Get yours today, 50% off. I don't know, I don't have a discount code. <laughs> but get yours today. Do it. Cause I told you so, cause I'm an influencer. Did I influence you? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. This is pretty obvious. Put on mascara, top and bottom. Let's put some eyelashes on, shall we? So for today, Lucy had pretty full set of eyelashes, really expressive. And today we're gonna go with Kiss Meredith Duxbury's uh, eyelashes. They're like this. You want something that's full, pretty much in the middle and kind of wispy. So yeah, these are what the eyelashes look like. Really fluffy. Uh... Okay, we're getting somewhere. And I think it's time to do lips. Now this. Lucy's lips were so iconic. And we're, let's bring up a picture here. And as you see, she has the very like wide kind of uh, 1940s bow, a little Joan Crawfordy. No more hangers! I don't know exactly what lip color she had, but maybe like Erin Parsons. If you guys don't follow Erin online, maybe she would know what kind of lipstick uh, Lucille Ball actually wore filming during the set of I Love Lucy. I wouldn't be surprised if Erin even has it in her drawer somewhere hidden over there because she's got Marilyn stuff too, which is pretty, pretty freaking cool. But we are dealing with drugstore stuff. Some of us have to get creative. <laughs> Poor, 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 poor. For the lips, I'm just gonna sculpt out the shape that I want with a dark brown lip liner pencil. For this look, do not be afraid to overline your lips. Lucy had very exaggerated lips. She even overlined them herself and don't be afraid to go big or go home. I think that's the shape that I like. And let's go in with, <laughs> who'd have thunk it? Daphne Beauty! I've already scraped off, I've used this so much that I've scraped off her like logo on this, but it's her like cherry red kind of color. And I'm gonna go in with a couple different ones to kind of bulk it up. Ooh, it's a liquid lipstick. And once you are finally satisfied with the desired shape, go ahead and take that red lipstick and put it all over. I'm using three different shades here. I am using a brown lip liner pencil for the outline. I'm using a cherry red color for mostly the entire lip. I am also using Fenty Beauty's lip gloss in a more orangier kind of gold color. I believe we are done with Lucy's makeup. Now let's go stick on a wig. Very efficient. Ow. 
Done. I have no ears. What? To find a wig like this, guys, you probably won't find it anywhere. We'll most likely need to be requesting it on a wig stylist. I'm pretty sure that wig stylists do not have this wig ready to go in their repertoire. It needs to be something requested. I am gluing it down with just the regular good old wig glue. Uh, a lot of people also can use hairspray. Got to be glued. Hairspray is a great hairspray to glue down your wigs if you do not have access to wig glue. Ta-da! So here I am as Lucy Ricardo with a Pepsi. No, Pepsi just, 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 reg Pepsi just reg regular Pepsi. Here is my final look for Lucy Ricardo from I Love Lucy. I hope you guys really liked it. Go ahead and write in the comments for any other suggestions or characters you would like me to try or attempt later on in my videos. I always look at the comments, so go ahead. Feel free. Write them down. I always look. Always. 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 Yeah, that was kind of creepy. That's it for this video. The next video, I will actually be going to Dapper Day. I'll be there on Sunday. So if you guys happen to be there on Dapper Day at Disneyland, California, uh, I'll be there. And if you see me, come say hi. So don't forget to subscribe, click the like, hit the bell to notify yourself that I just uploaded a new video. And I'll see you ghouls next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There is the peppy peppy Pepsi. <laughs> the happy peppy Pepsi that I like to drink all day long. Vita 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 Vita. See, here is the happy Pepsi Pepsi. Get your f***ing Pepsi today. Pepsi gets your head. It's so tasty, too. I, you get it. Mmm. That Pepsi's good, though, yeah?